Mr. K. P. Fabian, can you please join us uh, on the dais? Miss um, Rita Manchanda, can I also request you? And Mr. Colin Gonzalez. Um, I'll introduce our next speaker, uh, who is uh, Mr. K.P. Fabian. He's a seasoned diplomat and former ambassador. He brings a wealth of experience to the table uh, with his extensive background in international relations. Um, given what we've so far discussed, uh, what uh, are your um, perspective from an from a diplomat uh, from a diplomat's perspective? Thank you, Gia, for that introduction. Uh, dear uh, Saber, uh, uh, Rita Manchanta, and uh, Senior Advocate Colin Gonsalves, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> I believe uh, we are uh, not uh, running on time. So I propose to take less time. <laughs> well, first of all, privilege and honor to be with you, but not a pleasure because we have been here earlier, 2017, even later, and uh, frankly, the genocide is continuing. In other words, the international community has not been able to stop it. Gambia took it to the ICJ, that was in 2019. Right? Well, December 2019. I'm sorry. So, we are in 2024. Still, you know. Now, why is it so? You know that there is another genocide matter which is there before the ICJ. Now, in this case, ICJ did say that. Uh, the Myanmar authorities should prevent acts of genocide. You know, this is what is called uh, politically correct language. You are asked to prevent something, but you are not told that you are doing it. You are not told that you are about to do it. But, you know, politically correct language. Well, um, so, in terms of uh, international community response, uh, thank you. Gambia did it uh, partly on behalf of the OIC, which is a good thing. Then other countries uh, got involved, Maldives, UK, France, Germany, Canada, Denmark. I'm not mentioning all of them. Some of them I'm mentioning. But where is the Global South? You can't see much of the Global South in this, isn't it? Well, that is sad. And if we in India believe and assert Vasudeva Kudumbakam, the whole world is one family, well, then you have to act on their own. Now, just one more point. I want to ask the question, what the international community could have done in 2017? Well, it should have made good sense for the international community, for the Global South, for India, or any other country, China, to have uh, proposed the convening of an international conference to discuss what is happening and to see what can be done. Now, that was not done. And uh, I should say that uh, personally, I admire what Bangladesh has done with great difficulty, despite the heavy overs. So, any discussion to make sense should result in some action. 
Now, I congratulate uh, Rohingya Human Rights Initiative, the young people behind it, and uh, let us hope that uh, sooner rather than later, something will come out of all this. This has to stop. Just to remind all of us, the 1948 Convention on Genocide, the full title is the Convention to Prevent and to Punish the Crime of Genocide. So, the member states of the United Nations have the responsibility, well, prevention we haven't done, okay, but we have the responsibility to stop it and to punish those who are responsible for it. Thank you so much for lending me your ears.